Hey guys, this is an unplanned episode, but I think you'll see why I made it here shortly. You see, I've been working on an episode where I compare a lot of these different plug and play TV games. I look forward to bringing you that episode soon, however, I ran into an issue with the Sega Genesis game. The audio sounded terrible, take a listen to it. So at first, I thought maybe it's just putting out too much signal on the audio output. I tried putting a resistor in series to lower the volume, but nothing seemed to help. Then I started looking around on Google and found a lot of people complaining about the same problem. What do you say we play some of these friggin' games? Alrighty then. Oh man, that audio is just brutal. Eventually, I found several mentions of a fix, but um, I had a hard time finding any information on this fix, and when I did, it was very cryptic and there weren't any pictures or any sort of tutorial, so I thought I'd go ahead and take a chance and try it out, and lucky me, I got it to work. So I took the unit apart. Now this board is pretty cool because it's basically a real Sega Genesis condensed down onto a single chip, presumably under that epoxy blob, and then a ROM image with some games on it. But we'll take the board out because the parts we need to get to are on the other side. Now, these parts are ridiculously small and it was nearly impossible for me to film this close up while working on the board, so instead I created some illustrations of what needs to be done. The first thing to do is locate this resistor L3 and then just heat it up and scoot it right off the board leaving that spot blank. Uh, then locate this pin which is the primary audio output and create a jumper wire and connect it to pin 7 of the amplifier chip here. So you'll need a wire that looks like this. Next thing is to find this resistor here and do the same thing, just remove it from the board. And then you need to solder a wire to this pad and connect it to the other side of this resistor here. So basically like this. And here's what my finished board ended up looking like. So let's find out if it worked. So for reference, here's how it sounded before. Now after. How about this section? Well, I don't know about you, but that sounds a hundred times better to me. It was so horrible before, I really couldn't even play the game because I would just cringe just listening to that music, but uh, now I can actually play it and enjoy it. Now, I'm going to mention this in the upcoming video on these, on these games, but um, I wanted to go ahead and make this a separate episode because there are bound to be other people out there that are having this problem and would probably like to do the fix. And I knew if I created a separate video, it would show up in the search results so that people looking for a solution would find this video. Well, I hope somebody finds this useful and I look forward to bringing you the full episode shortly.